Today we're going to be talking about TerraOffice, specifically the add-in for ArcGIS Pro. So this add-in, when combined with Trimble TerraFlex, provides a simple workflow for setting up data collection projects either using feature services hosted in ArcGIS Online or Enterprise Portal. This can also be used on-premise with a ArcGIS geodatabase, such as an SDE connection, versioned or not, and also a file geodatabase as well. So from within ArcGIS Pro, users can set up, manage, and deploy data collection projects. Collected data is then downloaded directly through the Terra Office add-in, updating the feature service or geodatabase feature class layers. If you look down here at the diagram, you can see how everything kind of flows together. It also supports real-time and offline GNSS workflows or differential correction workflows using the cloud. It does require a Tariff Office standard subscription and ArcGIS Pro 3 or later, and post-processing or differential correction specifically requires the field user to have a TerraFlex premium license and a Trimble receiver that supports differential correction. Now let's take a look at the software itself and a deeper dive into the workflow. So here we are in ArcGIS Pro. Let's take a look at the geodatabase that we're using here. So we have a utilities geodatabase here with six feature classes and attachments enabled on each. If we look at the properties here, we'll see that Z values are enabled, which is very important, and that it does contain attachments. Now, if we look in our table of contents, we might wanna set the colors appropriately. Going over to the Terra Office ribbon, we can click on the sign in button that will invoke a browser and we'll go ahead and sign in with our Trimble ID. Once we're signed in, we might want to verify the settings of Terra Office. These are things like logging intervals, auto saves, and log file information. If we go to the Terra Office project window here, we will hit create new to create our new project. We need to select which connect project, meaning connect folder within Trimble Connect that we're going to use, choose which layers we want, and then configure any auto fields for GNSS metadata that we might want. Here you'll see that I'm picking and choosing the ones that I would like. Once completed, I'll hit save. If you're using a file geodatabase, the software will add fields if you don't have those fields in place already. Now look at the project geodetics. We just want to verify what's going on here. We are storing GNSS as NAT83-2011. Optionally, we could store as WGS84, although that's not recommended. You'll also see that the geoid model reference there is shown. Lastly, in our Create Project window, we choose our source of accuracy, whether we want real-time only or real-time and post-processing. We're going to choose real-time with post-processing. The following dialog box comes up and shows you 14 auto fields will be set, 12 of which were pre-created and two of which are being created automatically by Terra Office. Now you are seeing the processing where it is checking for name uniqueness, it creates the folder and workspace, and then it creates the templates that correspond to the layers in our table of contents. Finally, it creates the configuration, and then it's completed. When completed, you'll see that it opens up with the following dialog box. This dialog box asks you to save the ArcGIS Pro project or set it to save later. You can also say, next time when Terra Office has changes, save or do not save. So the first step is to click on field data on the Terra Office toolbar. Now we have our dockable Terra Office window. If we click change, we can change the filter if we would like to filter within a time frame, certain features, or whether things have been previously downloaded or only features that have been post-processed or differentially corrected. Let's click on download forms and I'm going to optionally turn off mark as downloaded because I'm going to download this later post-processed. But for now, we're gonna take a look at the results pre-processed with only our real-time correction, which in this case was SBAS. You'll see that six forms were downloaded here. We hit okay. You'll see all six here in the downloaded forms window with their object IDs. And for now, we're just downloading SBAS or WAS collected data, just submeter for now. Of course, this could be processed and resynced by clicking the download forms again, ensuring that you check the box, include only processed forms. Here, I'm gonna zoom in and take a look at my data. So we'll take a look here. We could identify it. We could see any pictures that might be there. Uh, we look here at a water valve, it's a fire valve, gate valve. We've got our feature height. 
and we've got our coordinates. Let's identify the hydrant. Here we'll see it's a Kennedy hydrant, and we've got a picture here, an attachment. If we click on it, we'll see that information, and we see our photo. Optionally, in Terraflex, in the settings, you can choose to have a watermark on for the date, time, coordinates, and bearing. Thanks for joining us for another All Terra Central technical video. Until next time.